Hello everyone, I am Sujoy and this is my another exciting video on computer networking. This is my second video in computer networking series. In my first video, I told you how to do 11 different subnetting calculations in just 8 minutes. So if you want to watch any of my previous videos on networking, link to them is given in the video description below. So check them out. So today I will tell you how to use a network cable tester to test straight UTP cable crossover UTP cable, rollover telephone cable with RJ11 connector and many interesting and useful facts on network cabling. So let's start the video. So first let's start with the overview of this cable tester. So the device is very commonly used in networking field. It has model number NS468. On the front there is one switch which has three positions of on and slow. There are total 9 LEDs, out of them 8 are operational. The device is divided in two parts, one is master and another is remote or slave. They can be easily detached. It is useful for checking cables between two different positions or places. For example, if you are checking connectivity between two rooms, then the master you will keep with you and the remote can be in the other room for checking the connectivity. Now on the top, on the master there are two ports, one is RJ45 port with 8 pins and another is RJ11 port. And on the remote on the top there is RJ45 port, on the bottom there is nothing on the master and in remote there is RJ11 connector. On the back of the device, there is one battery slot. So the device runs on plain 9 volt battery. So now we will use this device to check different cables. So first we will check a straight cable. This is called a straight UTP cable. So in straight cable, since it has RJ45 connector, it has 8 pins. This is called the connector and this is the cable. So it is called straight cabling because it is one to one connectivity. So there are 8 pins on each connector. Straight cabling means the connectivity is one to one. So pin 1 of this connector is connected to the pin 1 of the other connector. Similarly pin 2 of this connector is connected to pin 2 of this connector and so on. For all the 8 pins. We will check it using the cable tester. To check it first connect one end of the cable to the RJ45 port on the master and other end to the RJ45 port of the remote and turn on the device and check the connectivity. Once again the connectivity is 1 to 1, 2 to 2, 3 to 3, 4 to 4, 5 to 5, 6 to 6, 7 to 7 and 8 to 8. So what you can verify? You can verify since all the LEDs are glowing, so all the cables are connected and the connectivity is straight since it is one to one connectivity. So you can check and confirm the cable is ok. Now if you remove any of the connector, the lights will go off. Now let's check the crossover UTP cable using the machine. Similarly, we connect the one end to the master device and the other end as the slave device and check the connectivity. So it's 1 to 3, 2 to 6, 4, 3 to 1, 4 to 4, 5 to 5, 6 to 2 and 7 to 7 and 8 to 8. That is, this is the cabling layout for crossover cable. 1 to 3, 2 to 6, again 3 to 1 which is opposite of 1 to 3, 4 to 4 is straight, 5 to 5 is straight, 6 to 2 which is opposite of 2 to 6, 7 to 7 and 8 to 8 are straight. So it is called crossover because as you can see here, some of the cables are crossed with each other and remaining cables are straight. 
you can verify it here so since all the eight LEDs are glowing all the eight pins are okay and the connectivity is crossover and now we will check a rollover cable with RJ11 connector so unlike the RJ45 connector which has eight pins the RJ11 connector has only four pins so let's check the rollover cable the rollover means just opposite connection so for a 8 pin rollover one end will be 1 to 8 and the other end will be 8 to 1 just reversed they are just rolled over so this is the rollover cable with 4 pins with RJ11 connector RJ11 connectors and 4 pins are used in telephone operations so let's connect the RJ11 connector to the RJ11 port of the master device and RJ11 port of the remote device which is on the bottom and check the connectivity so only 4 LEDs are operational LED 2 to LED 5 the 2 is connected to 5 3 is connected to 4 4 is connected to and 5 is connected to 2 that is just opposite so we can confirm all the 4 LEDs are working so the cable connectivity is ok and the connectivity or connection type is rollover now as I mentioned earlier this switch has three positions of on and slow it's right now in on position that means the LEDs are glowing very fast now if you want to watch carefully then you have to place the switch in slow mode and the LEDs will glow slow that is useful for checking the cable connectivity carefully So the rollover cables with 4 pins are used in telephone operations and rollover cable with 8 pins with the RJ45 connector are used as console cable. This is called the console cable which is used for troubleshooting operations on various networking devices like router switches etc. So this end is a standard RJ45 connector with 8 pins and the other end the connector is called the DB9 since it has 9 pins 8 pins for data transfer operation and 9 pin is for ground so this end will go to the console port of the router or switch and the other end will go to COM port of your desktop PC COM port is also called the communication port number 1 so if you don't have a desktop then how to use this cable for console operation in that case you have to use another adapter so this end will go to the console port DB9 connector and the other end standard USB which can be used in any laptop or desktop remember to use this adapter you may need to install uh, driver software on your computer so it's isn't it cool now coming to cabling standard this is a UTP Ethernet cable of trade type so UTP stands for unshielded twisted pair unshielded means the outside jacket is made of plastic there is not any metal shielding to remove electromagnetic interference now twisted pair this is a twisted pair cable so this is one pair of cable and they are twisted why they are twisted as you may know when any current flows through any conductor then the electromagnetic field is generated at the outer side of the conductor so when there are two conductors side by side so the electromagnetic fields of them may interact with each other and generate some crosstalk or noise in the signal so remove the crosstalk or electromagnetic interference they are just twisted so that the electromagnetic fields of two cables uh, can cancel each other so this is just one pair inside this cable there are total eight pins or eight cables or four pairs of cable so another type of cable is stp or shielded twisted pair in that 
at the outer jacket is made of some kind of metal there is some there is some kind of metal jacket to remove or to cancel the electromagnetic interference and as you may know this is called the RJ45 connector and this is the UTP cable don't confuse the cable and the connector so if you use the RJ45 connector with a 8 pin cable then that can be used for networking operations and if you use the RJ11 connector that can be used for telephone operations and now cables can be of various type like CAT5, CAT5E, CAT6 etc. So here the CAT denotes the category and the number 5, 6 or 5E denotes the version. So CAT5 means category 5 or category version 5. So CAT5 is of two types. One is CAT5 and another is CAT5E. So what is the difference between them? CAT5 cable can transfer data up to 100 Mbps that is first Ethernet and CAT5E can transfer data up to 1000 Mbps that is Gigabit Ethernet. So how to know whether the cable is CAT5 or CAT5E? Generally for standard cables of good company that is written outside the cable. So let's check it. This is LORAM E some number that is the IEEE standard. 24AWG or American wire gauge UL I think for unsilted twisted pair and this is verified and here it's written category 5E patch panel or patch cable so you can say this cable is CAT 5E which is capable for transferring data up to 1000 Mbps so that's it for now how was the video let me know in the comments below if you like the video, don't forget to like and share the video. Your positive likes share and comment really encourage me to make more collaborative videos in future. So thanks for watching. See you in my next video. And still then, stay connected by subscribing.